So let us begin by installing Python. First, get the installation file, installation guide for Python. And there are two installations we have to do. We will install Python 3.6.2 first, followed by Wing IDE. Okay, so run the Python 3.6.2. Okay, click, double click. And this is the installation uh, proceedings. Okay, uh, you can add this one to path, that is okay. And let us click uh, install, this one. Uh, use the default. Okay, clear the security. Click okay. And just let it run the installation. Okay, this will be taking some time. Uh, we need both programs to run. So first, the uh, main engine python 3.6.2 needs to be installed okay and later we will install the other one which will help us uh, ide stands for integrated development environment Okay, taking some time to install. This will take some time. We will sit through it. In the meantime, you can play some music or hum some music. Taking quite long, many components to install. Take note that uh, some of your computers already have an old version Python 2.7 installed. Okay, that you we are using a newer version. Okay, so although you have Python 2.7 uh, pre-installed, most of your machines have that you must install this one 3.6.2 okay so that is uh, installed just close this okay so on your desktop you should see uh, no we don't see it okay after we've installed this Python 3.6.2 next we install this one wing IDE okay run that clear the security okay wing IDE 101 next uh, accept this usual uh, just yeah just proceed with this and proceed with this and let's go install this one also might take some time we'll just run through together Almost there. Okay, and click finish. Okay, so we installed these two. Why we need these two? We're going to be running this, but this one is more a user and software that depends on this one running the back engine. So this we're going to use Wing, but Python, this engine has to be installed. Okay, so after you've installed these two, we're going to look for our 
win wing ide okay and uh, if you click your uh click your window button and do a search type in wing you see the first one the one with the feather like the feathers plucked from the bird's wing okay this is the one uh, if you don't want to always do this you can right click and add a desktop shortcut i'm going to send it to desktop okay so that creates a desktop shortcut so next time we don't have to go to this so now we have wing ide on sitting on the desktop now we can simply uh, run it or double click open so when you first open the wing ide you will see uh, quite confusing don't worry i will show you how to use it so we have the uh, a several segments here okay the one thing uh be good to do is this python shell sitting that is below the second half by the way all these can be adjusted or this window can be open close okay you can move the python shell okay yeah, what i did is right click python shell and move it to the right toolbox so when i click that it comes over here okay this is a little more convenient so we have uh, this python shell on the right and then our editor is on the left as for this debug you can simply uh, close it okay either you can arrow down just like that okay create a bit more space so that you can edit over here this is where we type our programming and this is where we view the results of our programming so set this up first by the way everything here can be shifted okay if you are seeing a red line here that is just the end margin okay, if you type 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 to the end it will just go to the next line okay, if you don't want to see that just drag all these adjustable okay so roughly we have on the left the editing box space and we have python shell here on the right okay with this we will move on to the next uh, process please follow me in the next video